You know that you will need $40,000 for your child's education in 18 years. If your account earns 4% compounded quarterly, how much would you need to deposit now to reach your goal? Let's learn. We're dealing with compound interest. They tell us here it's compounded quarterly, and that's actually one of the key parts. Let's get some other key parts here. We will need $40,000 for a child's education in 18 years. Our account earns 4% compounded quarterly. How much you need to deposit now to reach your goal. So let's look for our compound interest formula and put in what we know. Our end balance after end and years we're looking for is actually, this is where it's a little different, where we know the amount we need is $40,000. We wanna find the deposit amount. So that's our starting balance. We don't know. We don't know how much we need to put into the account as our deposit. So that's what we're looking for. Our rate here is 4% and as a decimal in 0.04. Not too bad. Compounding periods, K. They tell us compounding quarterly, four quarters in a year. That's a four. And here is how many years our end value we're looking for. Well, I said it's in 18 years. Okay? So now we want to take each one of these values and plug it into our original formula. So P sub N here is 40,000. So we have 40 equals our initial amount, which we don't know, P sub zero, times one plus our R value, 0 0.04, over our K value for compounding periods, to the exponent, N, 18 years, times K again, which is four. Now we want to get P by itself, so it's up to you how you want to do it. There are some people who like to get all the decimals and bring it over. Some like to bring everything over right away and rewrite the formula. It's kind of up to you. I'm going to do a combination kind of of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first kind of simplify the right-hand side of what we know. So I'm going to leave that 40,000 here equals P sub 0. And this 0 0.04 divided by 4 is a decimal of 0 0.01. So we have 1 plus... 0 0.01, okay? And then 18 times 4, and multiply that out, the exponent, 18 times 4 is a 72. Again, I'm going to re-simplify this because I have some time here. And it's going to take your time and show your steps. 1 plus 0 0.01 is, well, 1.01 right there to the 72 power. Now, it's at this point, I would either divide both sides by this whole amount here, or simplify it. Um, I'm going to actually, well, just simplify it. Why not? 4 0, 40,000, P sub 0 times exponents come first, or of operations. So 1.01 to the power of 72 is, now this decimal goes on forever. Generally try to do at least three, but I don't, if I have all nine or eight decimals, I'm going to use them. It only takes a little bit longer to write that down. 2.047. Oh, nine, nine, three, one, two. And by using all this, it'll make your answer more accurate. So now this amount here, it's multiplication. Opposite multiplication is, you guessed it, division. Divide both sides by that 2.04709932 to both sides, 2.04709932. So 40 thousand divided by that amount 2.04709932 is a 19539.84341 and that's our piece of o if we want to round that amount all right round that amount to two decimal places 2 cents we have a 1 or $19,539.84 sense. And so if you deposit now $19,539.84 right now and an account that is compounded quarterly at 4% in 18 years, you would have your goal of $40,000. So again, the key here is see what the problem is asking and then you have to re 
rearrange the formula to find that answer. Well, I hope you learned something here on compound interest. And as always, thanks for watching.